Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tango Teacher, and today's tango lesson is On Sue by Lori Managoon. I'm not sure if I pronounced her name right, but she's a CZT, and the minute I saw this pattern, I fell in love with it because it is its simplicity, and Lori you can truly tell she's a ZZT because she has that mindset on one stroke or less and it's a beautiful tango. Uh, this is the tango that I'm going to teach today right here. I've added little things to it but you're going to find it's very basic. It fills in around other items. I've also done it on a little round tile and um, lately I've been doing a lot of bookmarks just because I'm a librarian, I I just like bookmarks, and my I, I find it easy to do a monotangle on a bookmark when I'm teaching my students in the class at the library. So we're going to start out with our pencil, and we're just going to draw a little curve line down our tile or our bookmark with um, our pencil, and then we're going to start with on Sue. And when you see how easy Ansu is to do, you're just it's just fun. It's it. We just it's kind of a little teardrop. And we're so we're gonna make a little teardrop. And then we're just gonna continue to spiral in and then make a little dot on the end. So we we'll, we we'll make draw a little teardrop and then spiral in. And then make a little dot. And these can go like a flower or petals. That's why I drew this line. Because we're just going to make them so they go up the line. And for a little bit of the zen in there, I like to make mine go opposite directions. So you see, I'm going to go... Um, to the left, and then kind of a quit. Now I can go to the right, you can always go to the right if you want, or to the left, but I like to make my brain do other things. I like to have it work harder for me. And so I want to... Ooh, that one's going to have to be a little holly bar because I made it a little large. You can come back and add onto in here to give it to fill up. But it's just that little teardrop and then echoed in. You can see I'm following that pencil line up. Drawing that pencil line helps me give a nice natural curve. And so I don't have to think about where I'm putting my onsus. I can just put them anywhere. I can also turn my tile so that my onsus can go in the opposite direction. You can make your onsus in a petal shape so they are form a little flower. But isn't that a fun tangle. I have to thank Lori so much for sharing this beautiful pattern with us. I will put a link to step out for this pattern below. Come back up here and do one more. And you can see the size 
can vary. You know, it doesn't have to be all the same size. You can vary them. You can add some that kind of float out. They can really just float out from the sides. But it's that shape, that teardrop shape that um, Lisa was looking for. And it's just a very quick little stroke. Now, I like to add, if you're into embellishing or adding to this, little little circles fill up this space really well and they're a good look with your with on Sue and you can kind of just go up that pencil line that you did fill in some of the little crevices with your little circles. Now on this particular one, I added a few zingers onto it, but if you didn't want to do zingers, you could just add a little fescue. I've added bead line. That's another one to add. Great fill-ins. And you could even add just some little viney vines out on the edge. Those are just do little squirrels, swirls, <laughs> squirrels, swirls. And there you have Ansu. Now, I colored this one with some colored pencils and then blended it with paint thinner. And that's a fun way to get a different look. You can put your colored pencil or your um, graphite right down in the tip of Ansu. As you know, I firmly believe that shading makes the difference in your tangles. And this particular tangle does not have a lot of contrast, so it definitely needs some shading because there's not a lot of black in there. So I just put a little bit, and then I'm just going to draw out that graphite, probably up just one side of Ansu. And another way you can make this, your drawing stand out a little better, is instead of leaving those berries or those little circles white, you can color part of them in with black. And you can see how that's going to add some contrast also to your drawing. Just go ahead and add those all the way down. And that adds a, just gives it that contrast you need, that black and white and gray, those, those tones in there, so that your eye has something to look at. Just a solid um, tangle, just one color. Doesn't always look as, as good as you'd want it to. And so there you go. I had somebody say to me, why did I cover up one of my drawings? So I'm going to put them out so you can see all my little onsus with a couple other drawings with it. Let me get them up under the camera. And I hope you enjoy onsu. Um, if you want to support my channel, it's greatly appreciated. Um, you can do that by going to my directly onto my YouTube channel and clicking on the support button. And leave a message, leave a comment. I love comments. Try to answer most of my comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss a single video. And thanks for watching.